So this is my first book. This is in memory and honor of my mom for soul elevation. It's mindfulness, Kabbalah, Hasidus, how to bring in blessings, how to stay in blessings. The Light of the Infinite, The Genesis of Light. And this is my second one, The Exodus of Darkness. You can get it in hardcover, softcover on Amazon. I'm gonna be doing a talk with Deepak Chopra on his channel soon. You can check that out. This book is not a book of poetry, although there's a couple of poems at the end of a chapter or two, so you can check that out. But I'm gonna jump into this poem that I wrote actually when my friend Dylan was doing a storytelling event last week and asked me to be one of the storytellers. But um, I actually opted to do a poem in three parts and I had written it two nights before the event. So just wanted to share it with you guys. I woke up one day and she was dead. My mom gone just like that. All these thoughts racing through my head. The one person whose love to me was unconditional. Things fall apart but I wasn't ready for that to start. I built it up so tall, never stopped to think of the fall. Down, down, down. What pieces were left? What piece am I left? Did I transform this sadness into something else? Or did I sweep it away for another day? A month, a year. Time is a figment of a fracture world, and mine was just that. If words create these worlds of ours, I fix mine through them. I dreamt mine to them. I found her again. And now I see her through every response these words receive. It felt like a reprieve, but now feels like a way to receive her through the mirrors that we all are. Angels don't die, they multiply. I was never good at math, but I could see the infinite in the love this love sent. Part two, a mirror, was it broken? I couldn't see clear. It was clouded, abstracted with fear. I rode that wave, a smooth, familiar feeling, like a fiending for easy. Stunted growth, a rest stop on the exhausting path towards elevation. The price? Ephemeral dopamine hits, but never elation. Fear fosters comfort in a weird way, but it was time to feel all the real, all the divine decrees to a freer me. I would channel it, stepping into a self-appointed role, one to inspire us all, to release this obsessive control. Learning all the ancient Jewish mystics and Kabbalah so that you won't have to. Spreading it on toast so that it might satiate even the furthest ones the most. A return to what truly is, not the layers fueled by fear, but the transparent, the space the truth went, concealed in plain sight by being the only thing real in this staged fight. Part three, my little gloves in this ring it felt silly, but also felt like a beginning. The first thought of thoughts of winning. How to write a book? I've always wanted to, but that was 20 years ago. Shouldn't these dreams slow? What will I write? I want to inspire the fire that love grows. I want to rewire the mind that doubt clothes. Wow, these words are waves and water, a well for the fallen. I stood upright, showing them the light that darkness brings the melody of alchemy. This mirror wasn't so bad. I can only see the present, and even that seemed abstract. So I looked past it, ignoring the reflection, allowing the refraction. I found her there. I stopped and stared. She, in every being, it was me I was seeing. We are only light.